I used to believe that uh, I could manifest things in the universe. I could manifest um, positive things in my life. I could manifest negative things. If I thought about it, it could happen. And it sort of rules your life. So a few times this week, you've talked about um, being surprised at how the universe will cooperate. So I'm trying to understand the connection between that and awareness. And I'm wondering if, if you're saying that if you approach people and situations from awareness, as awareness, um, you'll just get a different, you'll just get a response that is positive. Um, I guess I'm, I'm just trying to clarify whether, and I don't think this is true, whether awareness will, or me as awareness, um, will still manifest situations or relationships or people that cross your path that are, you know, serendipitous situations that are good for you, um, that you can learn from, or whether awareness is basically just, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to get that connection, yeah. or even yeah. whether there is one. Th think of it m more in this way, that the, the universe is obviously one whole everything being connected to everything else. And that there are no real, discrete, separate objects or entities anywhere in existence. The separate object or the separate entity is just a concept, a, a thought, a belief. So every, every desire or every thought or every action that takes place is truly the action of the entire universe taking place at that moment. So if we have a, a desire that is informed by this understanding, and not just informed, but if we truly feel that about ourselves, that we are not a fragment, that we are not separate from the other, or from the object, or from the world, then the, the, then the thoughts, the feelings, and the subsequent desires that we have are impersonal desires. They are not desires of a fragment wanting to unite with an object in order to get happiness for itself. They are truly desires that are on behalf of the whole. And because they are on behalf of the whole, they are fulfilled by the whole. It is very easy for the universe to fulfill those desires. But if we have a desire on behalf of a fragment, the universe, I'm calling it the universe rather than awareness because to make it more tangible and, and practical, that the universe can't really fulfill a personal desire. So that's why all personal desires are thwarted. We don't, we don't get what we want if, if our desire comes from a fragment. But it's true that if our desires are uh, impersonal, the universe tends to fulfill them. Because they are its own, it created them, and it has the power to fulfill them. So when I, when I would use thought to, I, I, I thought that I was manifesting positive and negative things, um, and then they would happen. So I'm still, I'm trying, I, I hear what you're saying about um, awareness, the universe will, will things will appear. Yes. Do but I'm... My <laughs> tr try to have thoughts and and therefore desires that are in line with your deepest love and understanding. When you have a desire, just as it arises, before you 
rush headlong to fulfill it, just pause. Ask yourself, on whose behalf is this desire arising? Does it truly come from, from love, from intelligence, from peace? Or does it come from a sense of lack that is seeking through the desire to acquire an object, a substance, an activity, a state, or a relationship in order to give this fragment happiness? And if the desire is coming from that place, instead of seeking to fulfill the desire through the acquisition of the object, turn around and question the fragment, the sense of lack or dis-ease or discomfort from which the desire is arising. Because what you are really seeking through the acquisition of the object is in fact lying just behind the discomfort. You have to go back through the discomfort this way in order to find what you're truly looking for in the object out there. But if the desire does come from a sense of fulfillment, then feel free to act on the desire. And, and you can pursue the desire, and if the desire is not fulfilled, you won't mind in the least, because it was coming from fulfillment. You were already fulfilled, so it doesn't matter to you in the least if your desire is not fulfilled. It leaves no trace of longing or disappointment in you. Thank you.